Hi, thanks for joining us at 5 Minutes for Mom. Today we're hosting Crafternoons with Testers and we're making these fabulous DIY driftwood Christmas tree art projects. You can design your driftwood Christmas trees in a bunch of different styles. You can make them glittery or beachy. And for an extra touch, you can add fairy lights. We use driftwood we collected from the beach, but if you don't have a beach nearby, you can use whatever sticks you have available. Or you can even make your driftwood. We actually have an upcoming tutorial on how to make your own driftwood. You can make your Christmas tree art big or small, hang it on your wall, or display it on an easel. Anything goes for this art project, so let your creative ideas flow. For our driftwood Christmas trees, we used Tester's Craft Intense Glitter, we used iridescent, but you could also use silver or gold. Those would both look fantastic. We also used Tester's Craft Acrylic Paint for our chalked and distressed background. We used Rust-Oleum's Chalked in Aged Gray. Tester's also has a spray chalk paint you could use. We used Tester's Craft Clear Spray Adhesive. We used Driftwood we collected from the beach. We used wood plaques and canvases. You can even use tiny little canvases and make little miniature Christmas trees. To decorate our Christmas trees, we used shells from that we found at the beach. We made little mosaic stars. We also used some shells and some moss for our beach-themed tree. We used iridescent artificial snow to give our trees extra shine, which we attached with the clear spray adhesive. And we strung our Christmas trees with fairy lights for extra fun. We also used a glue gun, white glue, paintbrushes, pencils, and craft sticks. Another handy item to have is reusable adhesive tack. This helped to hold our sticks in place while we were working with our fairy lights. We used sandpaper to smooth out any rough spots on our wood, and we used sandpaper when we were distressing the chalk paint on our beach frame tree. For the wood plaques, I used a small drill or dremel to drill a hole to thread the fairy lights through to the back of the plaque. And finally, we used extra tin foil dishes, a clean rag or cloth, paper towels, extra cardboard, and extra scrap paper to keep our workspace as tidy as possible. Okay, let's get to work. The key to enjoying this craft with your family and friends is some preparation. After you collect your wood, you're gonna to wanna to wash and dry it. We soaked and scrubbed ours in a bleach solution and then allowed it to air dry for a couple of days. You could also speed up your drying process by putting it in an oven at about 200 degrees, but, but of course be careful that they don't light on fire. I absolutely love this paint. It goes on so nicely. I'll probably do two coats. To speed up the drying process, I'm going to use a hair dryer. Painting is such a fun activity, whether you're doing it with friends or your kids or by yourself. I find it so relaxing, especially just doing a little project like this. There's no stress, it's not painting a huge wall. It's just fun. Gets me in the mood for the holidays. Now I'm going to let that dry. I just love this paint. When your paint is dry, you can use sandpaper to distress it if you want. I use sandpaper on this background to create that distressed look for our beach theme. For this one, I'm not going to distress it. I'm going to add some intense glitter in iridescent. This iridescent is so fun. While we let this dry, I'm going to paint my sticks. When it comes to your sticks, you can leave them natural, as I did on the beach one, or you can whitewash them. For this Christmas tree, I'm going to do what I did here, which was to use a whitewash and then to coat the sticks with the intense glitter in iridescent. To make a whitewash, I'm going to mix white paint with a little bit of water. I'm going to quickly coat them in the whitewash Now 
Now I'm going to wipe them with a rag because I want just a small amount of white paint left. Of course, if you want them whiter, just don't rub them. Kids will really love putting this whitewash on because they don't have to be careful at all. They can just throw it on, pick up the sticks with their fingers as they work. Our girls decided to skip the paint brushes and just paint with their fingers. It worked perfectly. So nice about working with acrylic paints is you can just wash them off. You can do a second coat if you want more. I decided I wanted these sticks a little bit whiter than my previous one, so I'm using the girl's tip and rubbing the paint in with my fingers. Working with my fingers doesn't take as much off as the cloth does. A final wipe down with the cloth. I'm gonna let the second coat dry. Now that your whitewash sticks are dry, you can either leave them as is or add some intense glitter. Once again, I'm gonna use iridescent. Now I have my layout all arranged and marked with my tack. If you're using fairy lights, you're going to wanna make a hole in your canvas or your wood plaque so that you can thread the wire through and the battery pack can hide behind the canvas. If you're using a canvas, you can just make the hole with pencil. If you're using wood, you may need to use a small drill or dremel. I'm going to mark where I want my hole in pencil, and then I will drill. I'm going to check that my hole is big enough. So it's so nice to have my outline all tacked down so I don't have to worry about repositioning my sticks. Now I'm gonna thread my fairy lights through. Now I'm going to wrap my fairy lights around my sticks. The reason I suggest using the tack and adding all the fairy lights to the sticks before you start hot gluing is so that you can make sure you've spaced out your fairy lights well and that you have enough to get to the top. So now I know I have enough lights to get to the top and I'm reserving my final three to wrap underneath my star to help light my star. Now I'm going to start hot gluing. My tack has helped me keep organized, but I will remove the tack as I hot glue. Now I'm going to make a little tangled star behind my star. Perfect. Now I'll just remove the extra glue strings. Now I'm going to hide my battery pack in the back. I want to be able to change the battery so I'm not going to glue the entire pack down but I will glue the wires down and let it rest in here. And now I can still remove my battery pack to change my batteries. And I'll just put some tack to help this stay put. If the tack isn't enough you could use some electrical tape to just hold it in place. The tack still falls out quite a bit. Isn't that beautiful? I could leave it as this, but I'm gonna use the, some clear spray adhesive and some iridescent artificial snow to hide my wires and have some extra fun. 
Now this spray you need to use in a well ventilated area. So you may want to spray it outside or in an open garage. And then let it snow. There. Isn't that beautiful? We had so much fun making these Christmas trees. We hope you have some fun making your own at home. If you enjoyed this craft, please like it and subscribe for more.